Welcome to you all. Alan Smith alongside me, Martin Tyler. And welcome to you all to Premier League football again. The opening game coming right up. It's Bournemouth playing today versus Manchester United. The 40s coming campaign. Not sure whether the home side will be. Maybe a little anxiousness within the ranks. A little fear that they could be threatening one of those relegation places. Uh, I think they're going to all have to stick together at times this season to avoid that. Uh, coming up against a, a team that themselves are really fancied this season certainly their manager is expecting big things from what he's been saying in the press leading up to this match should be a good one Bournemouth are going to get shot off they blocked it then the shot's off the uh, attack has fizzled out here goal kick now Marcus Rashford to find an opening not panicking crosses in so it's the big day for the manager a it's a free kick and that's all it is the referee is keeping his cards in his pocket sermon good forward play from them well, the building steadily here, working away. And it's a headed effort at goal. Oh, well done, the goalkeeper. And he's hung on to the ball. Couldn't keep it. For United, always united as a group, and usually too strong for the opposition. You'd expect that to be the case today. You would, but everybody experiences an off day. Might this be one for United? There's the ball in. Well, that's always the goalkeeper's ball. And a simple catch, as much as anything is simple in this game. Tries the through pass. And here's the cross. Well, they've got to keep the crosses coming in. I'm sure in the end we'll deliver something, but it didn't this time. Attacking now. Good interception. Well, this is how this team can play sustained attacking football but when they lose it as they've done now it's just a risk that they might get caught out here comes the challenge this with a chance to go into the lead now still a chance in there off the goalkeeper Harrick on the ball Sermon now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch Trying to thread it through here. Defender to it first. Manchester United haven't made an impact on the game at all yet. Now Lingard. It's Jesse Lingard. Just working away to try and find an opening. Promising build up until that challenge. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition now they're here. Good strong tackle. The good thing about these pitches these days, even when we're getting rain like we're getting here, it just goes straight through. It does. And uh, he's, he's got his shot off now. Over the bar. Michael Carrick. There's no doubt that Manchester United are a wonderful commercial. That's a straightforward piece of work for the goalkeeper. Damia. Michael Carrick. Manchester United putting this attack together well. Here comes the cross. Goal kick. Free kick against Manchester United.
just decided for a change of personnel. Could be dangerous. Antonio Valencia. They cope with it well defensively. Oh, okay. It's on the goal. coming on for Manchester United trying to find a way and shoots and the goalkeeper has done well to stop that one just going back to uh, Manchester United Alan and the fact you can have the money but it doesn't guarantee you're going to pick the right players no I think any manager will have his successes and failures and certainly the United bosses have crisp defending there could get his cross in now. Well, he's threaded the path through neatly. Well, we're two thirds of the way through the 90 minutes. Half an hour to go. We could be in. And now the shot. Well, the goal was gaping. And somehow, with the opportunity to put them into the lead, he's missed the target. Incredible. Well, it's totally embarrassing from his point of view. I think he took his eye off it. Martin, I really do. That could be the only explanation. Good forward play from them. The tackle there is successfully done. And now they're going to get their injured player back. That's very good news. He's ready to come on. And he's furiously waving at the ref, trying to get attract his attention. Well, it's a nice bit of skill, but the oh, goal! And that's deflected behind. It will be a corner. We're looking for that player to come back on, and he is coming back on. That's good news for his side, and for him, of course. Yeah, he's quite a tough cocky. He doesn't come off unless he is hurting, and clearly he felt he could carry on once he'd been able to run it off on the sideline. We're watching a very evenly contested game here. Neither side being able to dominate the ball. No, I mean, they've both got really good ball players, people that can keep hold of the football, and we have seen that today. Keeping the ball move, and here's the shot. Super stop by the goalkeeper, and he's hung on to the ball as well. Might just have got away with it with that first touch, but it hasn't. There's some potential in this move. It was nicely worked until that point, and it broke down. Now they've got to try and regain possession. Past his man there. Damian tries the through pass. Looking for Carrick. Counting down towards the end of the 90 minutes. Nine minutes left. Damian. Comes in strongly. On the attack here. Take the lead. What a goal! And what a time to get it! This is a competition famed for its late goals, and we may well have witnessed a really important one here. They are in front, and very little time to go. He looked the goalkeeper in the eyes and said, "Right, I've got the win here, and he's got the goal to show that." I love that kind of finish when you don't have to blast it as long as the placement is right. First goal of the game in the second half. Delaney. Pogba. Confident quality on the ball. And it's Wilson. It's the attacking third. Smith. He's reached it and he's caught it with the save. Brilliant.
he's looked the manager at what they need in the transfer market and he's decided that a strong central defender is what's required and here he is making his debut yeah uh, they uh, conceded one or two sloppy goals i thought last season particularly and uh, in an effort to stop that he brings in this player who might just be able to plug some gaps we're looking for energy in midfield which i think the manager is from what we've been talking to him about and uh, a new signing today with that in mind i guess yeah i thought they'd looked a bit short a bit flat actually in midfield previously and he is a creative player as well west ham united's lineup is this harvard norvate plays with angelo ogbonna as the fullback and at the point of attack just one lone striker bournemouth are going to go with this team today Arto Boric starts in goal. Max Gradle starts with Junior Stanislas out wide, and they'll play with a sole striker. He wants to get back in front of them. The break is definitely on. Rash, Alan, reckless. When you attempt to slide tackle like that, you've got to time it perfectly, and he didn't. has got to him big time here's a chance to attack shots up terrific stop a decent fist away by the keeper Makes the challenge here, Lanzini. Shoku Kuyate. Intercepted well. Max Gradle. It's looking good, this move. And shoots! Good stop by the goalkeeper. He's got the ball away from him with the tackle. Slid in to try and win the ball, but couldn't do it. Josh King. Did well, stuck out a foot and cut off the pass. Manager will go into this with that extra zest, really. Played 1-1. One, one, one. What's going to happen in game number two? Well, results are everything for the manager, aren't they? And I think the players will be gaining respect for him because he's handled himself well. That's a good spot by the defender. Now the shot! He's missed the target by some distance in the end. This is the kind of uh, pitch... But I think attacking players favour Alan, don't they? I think they do, yeah, because uh, it means mistakes from defenders and uh, you know, a little bit of miscontrol, loss of footing, and uh, you're in. Oh, yeah. Lanzini, strong challenge. Andre Ayu. Oh, yeah. Nordweit Max Gradle Here's Wilson Hobiak They've got the ball in the middle of the pitch here Fine save he's made there and He's not let the ball escape his grasp Good progress with this attack. Got his shot off now. That shot's blocked very quickly. And it's in. It's a cross from Ayu.
we're just going to find out really how good the drainage is here in the second half. It's been pouring through half time. It's still coming down in steroids. Smith. Rodwell. There's some potential in this move. And the goalkeeper has done well to stop that one. Some transfer news for you to digest, Alan Smith, for all of us to digest, really. Gonzalo Higuain has moved to Juventus. Exciting deal, this, for the fans and for his teammates. Around £70 million. Money well spent, I think. Lanzini. Obia. Into the attacking third. And here's the shot. The shot gets blocked. Well, they've got a corner out of that, a bit lucky, it was deflected. West Ham will make a change shortly. Turnover there that we didn't expect. Lanzini, on to the attack now. Made the challenge well. Well, we're two-thirds of the way through the 90 minutes, half an hour to go. A lot of defenders between them and the goal, but they've still got the ball. Max Gradle. Tackle goes in. And it's Wilson. Good position. They've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. It's nicely worked until that point when it broke down. And now they've got to try and regain possession. And that is a cheap piece of play to give the ball away like that. Jack Wilshire, the referee's letting it go. On the attack here, that will be a free kick against West Ham. He's off. Well, I don't think anybody, even the player involved, can argue with that. Francis. Shots on here. Oh, well done, the goalkeeper. And he's hung on to the ball. What about Bournemouth's next game? They're playing Crystal Palace in the next match. A lot at stake, but I think it might be a bit too much for them. Jack Wilshire trying to thread it through here. The shot's on! Got in the way. And see. Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. Crisp defending there. Junior Stanislas. Max Gradle. Brilliant team play, and shoots, and he's done it. Well, look at his face, he's absolutely delighted with that, and why wouldn't you be scoring on your debut? Well, that has been coming, and they've played well enough, making so many chances they've taken this one. Well, it's uh, a dream day for those forwards, because no shortage of chances created. Top day for them. So, finally, the stalemate is broken here, and we have a goal. We've got eight more minutes of the 90. Very impressive, the support for this team. Funny the team could be quite so impressive themselves. Yeah, they're doing their bit. Fouled by the West Ham player. An issue of discipline in this game. One team are... Serious trouble of uh, ending. Oh, that's great work by the goalkeeper. And it's going to be his throw here. Junior Stanislas. Not for the true pass. That's a great interception. Now the shot. Well, now the team that has lost a man has lost this goal. So often you see the team 
down to 10 men just mounted rear guard action and make things difficult but they haven't been able to do that here pretty straightforward this match and the late goal sums it up really yeah they just compounded their superiority with that one well it's a goal worth replaying over and over again isn't it Just widen the margin here to 2 0. And the time to be added on here is a minimum of three minutes. Andre Ayu. Attacking well here. Pass from Ayu. 